I'm trying to see the connection, the universe, multiverse even. Mm -hmm. A scale larger than we can even comprehend. We can try and measure, analyze, dissect a particle within a particle to arrive back at the same problem of distance and now even on a quantum level. It's, it's elusive. Anatomy and, and beyond. And in the end, it's just energy, frequency. And what if the synthetic and the organic are merging? What about our humanity? In the end, it's just AI and I. All these questions, more and more questions, more and more questions. These artists, their work is a quest, a quest for more questions. Will we still attach our emotions to all of our organs in the future as we become transhuman? Nina Sellers, fat adenum. Fat somehow is a negative emotion attached to itself. Nina brings O to this organ in her adipose museum. Andrew Carney, landlocked within us, the pond, our microbiome, an ocean we carry within us, our second brain, vitally important to our mental health. Eleanor Crook, the mummy of the unfortunate Athanasius, Renaissance astronaut from the court of Emperor Maximilian I, whose remains display the compacting effect of traversing space-time in astrological technology. Mara G. Hasseltein, delving deeper in microbiology to find answers to the origins of life, xenophores, evolved, submolecular discovery that led to the first COVID vaccine. Brian William Green, the day that energy became conscious of choice, materialized the theory that consciousness is fundamental. Annelies Slabink explores the nature of a teratoma, a rare type of tumor that can develop tissues such as hair, teeth, bones, and even more complex structures like eyes or limbs. Sandra de Klerk, ghost heart made of glass, neither a liquid nor a solid, an amorphous solid, as with the nature of glass, it is difficult to define emotions attached to our organs. Pilagi May Green, Steve Rooney, Marco and Sara Della Lucci, the Clockwork Collective, will exhibit an interactive moving sculpture reimagining the relationship between humans and machines. The last chance to celebrate the creator. Elina Zundi, algae-based objects made from seaweed of the Baltic Sea, algae-based bioplastic combined with works on paper. This is a search for a biomorphic language spoken by all living things, plants, rocks, humans, organs, as well as the symbols and geometrical patterns stored deep within consciousness. Atis Jakobsons, echoes of light hanging weightlessly in silk shimmers with the presence of radiant otherworldly beings. These figures, born of light, move as if carried by the wind and water, where light and spirit merge, offering a fleeting moment of wonder from beyond the everyday. Françoise Germink, AI and I, bookbinding collaboration, mixing old and new poetry and AI creations for the love of bookbinding and paper conservations. Lauren Jane Williams, mix of anatomy, technology and nature elements, opal, hair, taxidermy. Evie Newman, peering into the past, medical interventions through magical lanterns and shadow boxes. Pascal Pollier, tattooed organs with alchemical symbols and chemical elements connecting them to their heavenly bodies. Anatomy. And beyond.